Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Today I'd like to discuss with you all the different ways that you can connect devices to and from your lithium batteries that we've released in the last couple of months. So firstly I've got our uh, slimline battery here. This one's the one without the DC to DC in it but effectively it's still the same way. So this unit here has two Gray Anderson plugs coming out of it. So obviously in that case you would have an external DC to DC inside your vehicle somewhere and you would have that plugged into one of those devices. So that's your input to charge the battery while you're on the go. So if you need to charge uh, while you're on the go, you plug into one, and therefore then if you want to run your devices like your fridge and so forth and everything out of it, you would then plug into the uh, a secondary um, Anderson plug. Now that might, if you've got quite a lot of loads, one of the easiest ways to do it would be to get one of these sort of leads that we've got, which is Anderson plug, which plugs into that, and then has your ring terminals, which you could then go to a buzz bar or a distribution panel block. So therefore the battery's power is coming out of here to that buzz bar, so therefore then all your loads can connect to that but at the same time you could connect your solar to it as well so your solar going in and your loads coming out because effectively it's just like a terminal across your battery so something simple like that I'll just unplug that one don't want them to short out because there's 14 volts there um, if you want to measure loads going in and out of your battery it's quite simply uh, something simple as this one as well so the source end because that's the source, the power source going into this. So therefore then everything that you plug into this will show up on this watt meter. So it will tell you how many amps you're pulling out of the battery, how many watts uh, maybe a, an electric device is actually pulling and convert that into amp power as well and the voltage of your battery as well. So it gives you an idea exactly where you're going um, wattage wise and, and voltage wise and amp wise of your devices. So from there you can simply plug into things like say a one meter extension lead or a five meter lead or a three meter lead. Um, we also have single to dual outlets. So these can plug into that or can plug straight into this one here. So now you've got a dual Anderson output. So you could have one that's running directly say to your fridge because that one's on all the time. And then this one here, you can simply add um, you could plug your solar regulator into it and then your solar panel so therefore then it's putting power back into your battery via the solar. Or you could simply add one of these onto the, into the equation so it's giving you dual SIGA sockets. So there's multiple different ways you can go about it. Uh, this is just another style of dual lead that we have as well. So you've actually then got leads uh, sources going to each device if they're a little bit further apart rather than having the one like here which is joined together. So it's just a different variation of that but there's so many different combinations that you can do um, that as I said if you do have a lot of loads going in and uh, coming out and you want ways of going in, my suggestion would be to connect something like that to a buzz bar or a distribution panel and then run all your devices off of that. But by all means, you can certainly plug all these devices into this sort of battery here as well. So any battery that's got a terminal block on the top, you just put one of these on there as well. So yes, you can have stuff connected that way, but say for your solar regulator, for instance, you would just have that plugged in there or for any device, whether you want power in or power out, you can plug into that. So there's, as I said before, there's so many different combinations and there's plenty of these things available all here at Bainbridge Technologies. And if you need to find any further information about what we do have uh, and purchasing these, please don't hesitate to give us a call or contact us on the details to this link. So bye for now and we'll see you soon.